plan is to open up a giant piece of magic mail that I got that has all these different treats in it, which super, super stoked. If you're curious, this is Valentine's Day themed, even though it's a little late on Valentine's Day. Some of the things that we're gonna be trying, not too much, Justin, doing all right, brother. What's up, Vixen, how you doing? Kathy, Kathy. So the first one is gonna be, we have this cake in a jar. So it's kind of like a cupcake in a jar. And this is from Nina Designs Disney. Uh, we also have, this is that fresh new new. <laughs> it's, it's a strawberry toffee. So I'm very stoked to try that. Uh, this is prototype Justin. You didn't even get a chance to try this. This is not churro toffee, this is strawberry sanding sugar. So this is like, I said, hey, why don't you make strawberry flavored toffee? Maybe make mint toffee, all that kind of stuff. So uh, Valentine's Day was meant for us to be a singles day. Life isn't fair, <laughs> I hear you. What's up always, yo, what's cracking? Lisa, how you doing? So not churro toffee, Pratha, this is strawberry toffee. But churro toffee, I do have it. So don't worry, we'll get into that. This is regular churro toffee. Uh, I'm not gonna do these today, but there are some strawberry hot cocoa bombs, but I'll unbox them so you can see what they look like. Marshmallow wands. Hey, what's up, Disneyland Resort people? This is an, a legit, straight up Disneyland Resort marshmallow wands. I've never had one, so I'm excited to see how it's gonna go. And last but not least, you know what, I'll do these because I, I haven't done these in a while. These are the coconut patties that you can get. They come in packs of two in this like little red container. Kind of looks like a Reese's peanut butter cup container, but we'll do a review on them. But the piece de resistance, the thing that everyone freaked out on Instagram for is Nina's gingerbread cookie. So this is a Valentine's version of her gingerbread, which you can see her little, her little logo on the back there. It says Nina Marie Designs. And uh, this was the thing that she sold from all the way from November until now. So uh, she crushed with these. She sold a ton. I, I couldn't even tell you a number, but it's somewhere in the thousands of cookies. So yeah. Super, super cool, and I'm so stoked that she sent me all this stuff. So without further ado, what do you guys wanna do first? Tell me in the chat and we'll do that. <clears throat> uh, I'll unbox in the meantime, so tell me what do you want me to open up first to try, it. and I'll unbox this hot cocoa bomb so you can see what it looks like. It, oh, whoa, yo, she's fancy, man. Trained professional chef, so I expect nothing less. But look at that chocolate mold. It's got airbrushed on it, like a gold coating, and then strawberry little little sprinkles on there. But that is a uh, a bomb. Yes, it is, Kathy. Gingerbread cookies are so good. Well, you know what? Let's get into them then. That's what everybody's curious about. Let's do the gingerbread first. So we'll save the best for now. So one thing I know that Nina does with her gingerbread, so here's a secret, secret tip insider, is the gingerbreads are actually brushed with like a sugar coating or some sort of icing. So it's like a glaze on top, which gives it this just like great texture, but I think it also seals in moisture. Um, the other thing too is it's stuck to the backing, so you gotta be really careful when you do these, otherwise you'll rip your, uh, <laughs> your gingerbread's head right off, and I'm still not really good at it. I tried one the other day just to just to see how hard they are to come apart because I didn't want to break it on live. Boop, boop, boop. All right, I think I got it. There we go. Mickey's out and about. <laughs> how good is that? Tell me that's not like the coolest looking gingerbread ever, you know? The texture's there, the color's there. I like the heart change up. And then on the back, you can see some of that icing for the backing. So there's a lot more on here. But then the front, it's just very subtle, but it's there. And then thickness-wise, you know, these are about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit more. Your daughter bit into the hot cocoa pop thinking it was a peanut butter cup. 
<laughs> Dude, the powder must have went everywhere. That's ridiculous. What's up, Cowboy Thomas? What's cracking? Lisa, I'll do the marshmallow wand right after this. So, um, so hang on. The smell is like very molasses and then just like royal icing and then like a faint ginger herbaceous kind of vibe. So the one thing that's so dope about these, that texture on the inside, it is like the chewiest cookie ever. It actually makes me think like gingerbread should actually be more like bread, you know? Yo, what's up, mom? It's cracking. Carrie, how you doing? This gingerbread is so sick. This is so good. It's so dense. It's, it's, I, I don't even, like, I almost <laughs> question what the texture of cookies should be like because this has, like, a dense chew to it, but a softness, almost like the densest focaccia bread that you'll ever get. I know that's a weird comparison, but the, the texture of it is insane. Well, it's just perfectly chewy. And yeah, these are heaven. These are no wonder why she just got crushed with the orders. Not only are they adorable, probably the cutest and closest to what Disney's look like. I guarantee hers tastes better than Disney's. Yeah, all right. So like you can talk. You're right, Lisa. This definitely has that ginger note, but no bitterness. So if you're a fan of ginger, pickled ginger, ginger candy, ginger ale, and then it's got a richness to it, but it's so soft. And that sugar is insane. It's really, really good. What's up, Ben? What's cracking, dude? Oh, I never tried Disneyland's, but I don't know if I would want to because there's no way these gingerbread cookies are insane. And don't worry, mom. I got two extras, so I'll make sure you get one as well. Marshmallow wand. Oh, so gingerbread cookie. I might as well, because it's my thing, right? Out of five, this is getting a 4.7. No joke. No joke. I love gingerbread cookies, too. Lisa crushing it. All right, marshmallow wands. Not made, but, or Nina crushing it. Sorry, Lisa, I was talking to you. My brain doesn't work that well when I'm trying to do too many things at once. So this is not made by Nina, but this is a, a legit, authentic Valentine's Day churro, or not churro, marshmallow wand that Nina got from uh, Marceline's. So she went to downtown. Uh, Disney and pick these up. So these are authentic real Disneyland Resort marshmallow wands. Looks like a dark chocolate coating. I think there's caramel inside from what I gather from other people's reviews and stuff. So I'm super, super stoked to give it a try. Yeah, oh dude, I gotta take care of moms. Are you kidding me? And besides, she knows Nina quite well. They've, they've helped each other out on a couple of things. So yeah, why not? Mmm. It's chewy, <laughs> like hard. Now, granted, I put it right in the fridge so that it would be colder. And you can see it's really because of the caramel. That's a little bit harder, but it is good. I love the caramel. I love the marshmallow flavor. Dark chocolate always trumps milk chocolate every day of the week. What's up, weekend? What's up, master? And... I legit would always go dark chocolate. But dark chocolate, caramel, marshmallows? I mean, what's up? It's like a better version. This is what s'mores should be in some elements. This is really good. I don't think we have anything like this at Disney World. What are we doing? Why don't we make these at Disney World? We're insane for not making these. They're so good. Also, I don't know how Nina was able to buy, because I think she did 50 boxes. I don't know how she was able to buy 70 of these to make sure she filled all her orders. Like, that's insane. Like, they must have had Marceline's they been like, are you serious? You want 7-0? What's up, Madison? How you doing? But 
Such is life, right? All right. So on the this is Disneyland Resorts Marceline's Valentine's Day Marshmallow Wand out of five. I'm going to give it a very, very solid 3.9. I like it. There's some elements that could be better in terms of softness. Now, maybe it's a, a temperature thing that I screwed up with. But, uh, yeah, very solid, very tasty. And uh, who doesn't like marshmallow, chocolate, and caramel? I love all of them. So, yeah. Thank you, Nina, part two. So far, just fire. And, no, this is going to be just a giant infomercial for Nina. But she makes subscription boxes and you can buy her food on uh, Nina Marie Designs. You just have to send her a DM. She's moving to Texas right now, so it's super, super cold. Uh, and she's not baking because they don't have any energy. It's, it's just like frozen, apparently, in Texas right now, which stinks. Uh, but she's trying to stay warm, which is most important. What do, you, what do you guys think? Should we do, in the in the chat, what do you think we should do? Should we do the cake in a jar, which is like cake in a mason jar kind of vibe, but it's a plastic mason jar? Or should we do churro toffee? Now, this is... Nina's version of churro toffee. There's no strawberry or anything on there. I do have her strawberry version um, But what do you think you could have totally done it when you were in the park roping, but yeah, Nina, how'd you get so many? Uh, I think when she was just in Marceline's so Coconut small Mickey treat. Oh, dude, you're throwing a curveball. All right curveball in you were the only one who was talking up So you asked for it. You get it. These are they call them coconut patties, but the best way to put it is, and then mom, I'll do the uh, churro toffee, carry, you're in there. But for at the beach you to the punch, we're doing coconut patties. So these little bad boys are, they call it a chocolate coating, so it's not actually chocolate. It kind of reminds me, the premium bars do the same exact thing. Texture uh, is like kind of like a sweetened, condensed, shredded coconut that you would get in the bag is kind of the vibe I get. Uh, they're, they're nice and thick. They're about an inch thick. I've had these before. And I love them. The coconut is like a juicy, rich, soft, just delicious coconut. If you're a coconut fan, it's amazing. It doesn't taste like sunscreen or any of that nonsense that you get sometimes with coconut treats. And um, when they were two for one, it was like a buy one, get one. I guess because things were expiring. I snatched these puppies up, but Nina was nice enough to uh, throw them in my box. I think it's because she had 30% off, so. And I can't remember what I gave these, but I think I gave them in like the three, six to three, eight-ish range. They didn't land in the fours, but I know I reviewed these before. All right. Throw that in the bag. You asked for it. It's churro toffee time. <clears throat> Everything's bubble wrapped. It's kind of interesting for treats. She puts them in a priority box mailing, so it gets to you really fast. And I'm guessing each one of these is probably individually wrapped. Oh, nice presentation, Nina. Very nice. She doesn't want them to obviously break or snap in half. So I got two churro toffees. You can just see all that sugar on them. Now, this, this isn't a, I don't believe it's a strawberry flavored icing. I believe it's just regular icing, but it's got that Valentine's y vibe. So let's get into Nina's churro toffee, which they do sell at Disneyland Resort. And I think right now at DCA, you can get it somewhere. I don't think it was at, maybe it was at Trolley Car Treats, which I think is open. Makes me think of those coconut patties in Florida. Yeah, mom, like the kind that you get in the airport. They also sell key lime ones of those. And I've always been scared to try them because they look disgusting. But they might be really good. They're always in the airport and when I'm flying home, I'm like, ah, I wonder if they'd be good. All right, I think this is user error and I just can't undo this in a normal, sane, reasonable way. So time for a savage moment. Use my chompers to get in there. Nina, I stink. I don't know how to open this in like a good way. So I just bit it with my teeth. Here we go. Churro toffee. We already did a couple of things, Nina. We already did the uh, marshmallow wand. Not yours, but delicious. 
Uh, gingerbread cookies we did, I think that was a 4.7 or 4.8. Banging, really nice job. But here we go, churro toffee, Nina's edition. So, ooh, I stand corrected. This does have a strawberry vibe to it. So there is some strawberry flavoring on there. So the icing, not only is it pretty, also if you've never seen like the, the cross section of churro toffee, it's coated. So you have that English toffee in the center and Nina can add some more descriptives in here. But then, uh, I believe it's white chocolate or white chocolate melts, and then that cinnamon and sugar top, and then she makes hers fancier by glazing them over. Or it might be the strawberry sugar on this one. But, yeah, I mean, you get a strawberry vibe. It's very, very good. See you, Nina, no worries. Charge up, hope you stay warm tonight. Obviously you can watch this whenever. It'll be on YouTube, it'll be on Instagram TV. So yeah, I, you know, so I've had Nina's churro toffee before. I don't know if I like it as a strawberry, you know? I think it's awesome if you've had regular churro toffee, but I've had Nina's regular and now having the strawberry one, I definitely prefer the regular one over this one. They're still both delicious, but I think it's really cool is that you can't get strawberry churro toffee anywhere else except for from her. So if you want it, you gotta get it from her. It's good though. Um, not easy to make. I burned my English toffee when, uh, when I was making churro toffee. I have recorded on my phone, so it's like trash when it comes to quality, but I'll eventually throw it up on YouTube at some point. But mine was really, really burnt. This is delicious. It's perfectly well executed. It's gorgeous looking. Um, the strawberry is a detractor for me, but I don't think that's a knock on the treat. That's just a personal preference thing. But the execution is great. I'm going to give it a, we're going to go uh, 4.0 on the nose because I don't think it deserves in the threes. I think that's a personal bias that's coming out just because of that strawberry flavoring. But once again, personal bias. <clears throat> All right, we got, where did that, where did that go? Where did I put that little toffee thing at? There it is. So what do we do? Do we do cake in a jar or do we do the real strawberry crazy over the top toffee? I kind of feel like we do this. We're in toffee land already. Let's keep cranking on toffee. Oh, good catch, cat-like reflexes. Caught that cellophane bag. You thought I was getting slow, 36 years old. Still got it. Which, story time, fun story time. Torrential downpour coming outside of the Jungle Cruise. I'm in Sanooks. They're kicking us out of the queue, so we gotta leave. My head goes, let's go to the Tiki Room. That'll burn at least 30 minutes, and the storm will be gone. So we make a sprint. I have my arms tucked into a poncho. Sanook, right as soon as I touch the wooden planks, I flop over like a fish. And I'm literally going like this because I have no arms, they're all tucked in. And I kind of like did like a, a like a quick little tuck and roll. Oh, was okay, turned perfectly safe. Uh, <laughs> I just like fell on my side, running outside of the jungle cruise from all the rain. Toffee. Story time. And then I watched the Tiki Room, which the Tiki Room is amazing. And oftentimes I skip Tiki and Country Bears, even though they are some of my absolute favorite shows with amazing music. I'm the guy who sings the entire time. And uh, it only ends up, we end up going there when it's raining and other stuff is closed or uh, we have an excess of time, which almost never happens. What's up, James, how you doing? 
Danny, what's cracking? So this is the strawberry toffee that we're getting into. So this one is strawberry sanding sugar. So this should be crazy strawberry flavored. Ooh, oh, see this one smells different. This reminds me more, like the aroma reminds me of a strawberry shortcake. You know, like, do you remember those um, those ice cream pops that you would get? That it was, it had those like weird styrofoamy type textured bubble thingies on the outside. But that's the total vibe on that aroma. Very strawberry. See that? Wow. You're, this is a first. This is better than this. Reason being, one, what's up Sill? What's up Planner? So if you go with this one, you get a little bit of that strawberry vibe and then the regular churro toffee, which made me want and yearn for the regular strawberry or the regular churro toffee. This goes full bore onto the strawberry flavor and that sugar and you could see the coating like it's very different but because there's less of the icing and the icing doesn't seem flavored it actually seems more balanced and better strawberry flavor mm. and you're right mom that's like a skull s-k-o-l that english toffee mm. and even the texture on this because it's a little bit less sugar it's more of like a powder this is really well executed. 4.2, I like this better than the other one. Especially for that strawberry flavor. All right. <laughs> Plastic mason jar time. Let's do it to it. Oh, cake in a jar. So we were talking about, Nina and I were talking about the concept of like, dude, the cupcakes at Disney are amazing to me. She doesn't like them. She says they're dry as bone. So I go, hey, is there a way to do a cupcake in a container and ship it to people because you would make better cupcakes than Disney? She goes, hey, let me do a cake in a jar. Never seen this before. I don't even know what the flavor is. I mean, it's it looks like vanilla cake that's, that's dyed red. I don't think it's red velvet or strawberry, anything. I mean, the, the frosting on the center looks like strawberry and the top looks like almost like Nutella ish vibes. So I don't know. Let's try it out. This is a whole new, a whole new world. <laughs> All right. I got to calm down. I'm not a good singer anyway. Lots of fudge chocolate kind of vibe on the top. It kind of reminds me of like cosmic brownies. If you've ever had little Debbie's cosmic brownies, it smells like regular vanilla cake. I don't think it's chocolate. I'm a terrible judge of red velvet. Which I'm not getting here. Okay. And I didn't get into the strawberry icing yet or the chocolate top. Let's get into the chocolate top. I was just trying to taste the cake. Taste, cake tastes like just yellow cake or white cake. And the chocolate is that really dense kind of like fudgy brownie top almost vibe. That's totally what I get here. Yo, what's up, homie? Speaking of sugar daddies, Scotty's in the house. What's up, dude? Yeah, but total, total like fudgy chocolate vibe going on here. Let's get into the strawberry icing. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Now, I'm going to say this because Nina's going to hate me. I'm not a crazy fan of just like regular cake. And although all the flavors are good, the strawberry icing is good. This is my least favorite of the things that I tried. Uh, I think it's well executed, but I just, I'm left. Like, I, I don't know what the whole entire flavor was supposed to be for all of it, but this is my least favorite thing. Cake in a jar. Strawberry. I like the icing part. The chocolate part's okay. Uh, the cake does nothing for me. Uh, although it is moister than most 
bakery dishes at Disney, so I'll give you credit there, Nina. But yeah, I, I gotta go. This is like a, <laughs> she's, she's gonna destroy me. <laughs> I don't even wanna say it because of how angry she's gonna get. I'm going a 2.8. I'm sorry, Nina. This, you complain about the cupcakes in Disney. We gotta chat. We gotta chat. This needs some work. Now, granted, it did come in the mail. Granted, it's a cake in a jar, so there's a lot of things, a lot of moving parts. But the favorites of the night, this is the favorite, the Headless Horseman. <laughs> Welcome to Sleepy Hollow. This dude is insane and bonkers, and I don't care what Nina charges for this. She could charge $5, she could charge $10. This is the best gingerbread cookie you'll ever have. It's plain and simple. I think I gave it a 4.7 or 4.8. It deserves every single bit. Uh, marshmallow wand was delicious. I really like that. And the coconut patties. Those were my big hits. I like the strawberry shortcakey vibe toffee. I thought that was delicious. But if I was going to buy anything from Nina and I fully endorse, I certify this a walrus carp snack must get is her gingerbread. She smoke showed it. This is the greatest thing ever. And go buy a million. Go follow her. If you don't follow Nina Designs Disney on Instagram and go order gingerbread cookies. I don't care that it's not Christmas anymore. She'll put like shamrocks for his chest. She should make gingerbreads all year round. This is the best gingerbread cookie I've ever had in my entire life. And I've had like Swetzels and Archway and Tons of different ones from home, which moms give you credit. I love your gingerbread, but Nina smoked it on these. And it's because of that texture. Like, I feel like this is what gingerbread, the concept of bread, should really be all about, you know? And it's life changing. <laughs> That's how good this is. So you can hate all me all you want with that cake mess that you got going on. These are so dope. Try them out, they're delicious. Nina designed Disney.